Let's go. Gonna let them kill me. Here go, guys. Just died. Let's revive. Let's go back to the base. Let's empty my chopper and let's come back here. Wow, that's a lot of dudes, baby. How am I gonna do this? Hey, yo, guys, it's me, Absarica. Welcome back to Last Dead Earth Survival. So right now, I'm gonna go to Alpha Bunker, and I wanna clear a little bit of Hard Mode Bunker before it resets. I did take enough weapons and took a couple of these blueprints that I'll give to the specialists. And also, also, guys, we're almost done with all the tasks. I just have to craft these stack of eight kits, and then I'll be able to raid. And also, I already got a revenge raid, so today is gonna be a pretty cool day. Most likely double raid, baby. So the point is, let's just hope with the chopper, and let's go to that Alpha Bunker. And you might be asking me why I wanna go to Alpha Bunker and do Hard Mode Bunker, is because I have zero C4 so I can't properly raid and at least I want to do a little bit of that hard mode bunker and this is the base that we'll be raiding already did a little bit of research on it and it does require guys at least one c4 to open up the walls and it's gonna have some okay loot I'm not really sure even if we're gonna be raiding that base or no but the point is let's just hop in alpha bunker while we still have 10 minutes the point is I'll be able to grind alpha bunker for as long as I can even if the timer runs out, but as soon as I will leave Alpha Bunker, the timer will reset. So I think I'm going to start doing second floor because I already cleared the third floor. So we're going to do the second floor now. And also, I already upgraded my machete, guys. I got the bone handle. I, ha I got the ripper blade and it does 36 damage. So that's really, really nice. Can't wait to test out my uh, machete. And also, we're going to be checking out these new glocks with the elite shutter. But before it's any lower, let's meet our specialist and let's give him all the blueprints that we got. Well, that's not going to be enough for another blueprint. That's a little bit sad, but at the same time, doesn't even matter. We're not going to get anything great from him anyways. I don't think I haven't gotten a great blueprint from the specialist at all. Let's open up the door and let's pop all of these dudes with the new Glock. I mean, it's just a bit faster and that's it. I mean, there's nothing really much about that new Glock Elite Shatter. It's just basically the same. It's just a bit faster. It doesn't really do that many crit chances for some reason, but it's just faster. And I mean, that's good. But at the same time, wish it was a bit better anyways. And I don't think I can even make my Glock much better. I mean, you can put here a silencer, but after that, I don't know if it's even worth it to put silencer here on the Glock. I don't really check the specs properly. Well, I already almost blow broke one Glock, guys. I broke one Glock for these six ID tags and one Chevron. Is it worth it? Like, so far it looks like, guys, it's really, really not worth it. I just literally grinded all that just for these items. It makes no sense. Like, our Glocks disappear so quickly here. And soon, guys, I need only 7% and I'll have all the skills here in Alpha Bunker and maybe, maybe, not even probably all skills, but I'll probably be able to get Hacker skill or uh, the Look Around skill, which I wish I could get the Look Around skill rather than Hacker skill because I totally, so far, don't really care about the hacker skill but the look around skill guys is gonna be pretty pretty op i'll be able maybe to see chests a bit easier at least that's what i think i'm not really sure though and i'm not really sure if it's in my head but sometimes it looks like glock shoots slower than it's supposed to it might be just in my head but at least that's how it looks like but now i think i love glocks the most because they're ridiculously fast they do a lot of damage and they're kind of common so i don't know this is probably my favorite weapon so still six percent left hopefully i'll be able to get that skill after I'm done with this floor. I should be doing hard mode bunker more often because without hard mode bunker, I can't really raid properly. I don't really have many C4s. It's like if I stop raiding, the point is there is not really many, many things I can do now in last dinner. The main focus for me is just to raid because other than that, there is not really much we can do. What am I supposed to do? Like farm wood? Why would I farm wood if there is no point in raiding? It's like, I think guys, that makes sense. It's just the point is I've been playing this game for really quite some time now and there is really nothing much besides raiding. I mean, what's the point for me to upgrade the base when the only reason why would you upgrade the base is for raids? So. Wish maybe there were more ways to get C4s and maybe that hard mode bunker was a bit easier to do But at the same time doesn't really matter still gonna do it It does take a lot of blocks to pop all of these dudes That's a little bit sad, but at the same time guys where am I gonna put all of these weapons? I do have like still like four or five chunks of guns So that's not a big deal We're gonna use that and plus i'm collecting my mil cores and as soon as i'll have six mil cores I'll do guys 99 waves at police department and with 99 waves I'm gonna get so many green cards so many blue cards and with all of that I'll be able to get so many guns that it will pay off and again I won't have enough space at my base to keep the guns I mean I will have space to keep the weapons but I think you got the point what's the point for me to keep like five six chunks of guns if I don't use them so let's use them here in hard mode bunker I could probably do that with melee weapons because I do have enough healing items but at the same time guys let's try to rush it the sad part is that if I won't get enough items to get a floppy crate then I'll have to get c4 somehow anyways 
There's no way that second floor will have enough items for me to be able to get a floppy crate. I think I just should have waited maybe and done the third floor. So here I'm done with the second floor and I do have a couple of items. And I mean, I'm almost ran out of guns and I don't even think it's worth it to go to the fourth floor. You know what? I might actually reset my bunker and activate hard mode bunker once again. Because I have enough yellow and green tickets to open up these crates. And plus I'll be able to open up a red crate for the sake of C4. So let's go guys back to the first floor. And let's probably reactivate alpha bunker and activate activate hard mode bunker once again this is just insane let's go let's give him all of these points let's see how much we got well it's like we did 50 percent that's a little bit eh, but whatever so now as soon as i leave this area guys alpha bunker is gonna reset so whatever let's let it reset yes indeed look at that guys it's close let's enter the password and let's go once again and let's activate hard mode bunker and let's kill the blind one now and we'll get enough red tickets and hopefully i'll get a c4 out of these red tickets here go they accepted my password now gonna go change a little bit of clothes probably i'm gonna take a couple of shoot guns and two more percent left in order to get that skill. And now I'm going to put these guys unupgraded uh, old glocks to my chopper. Because I don't want to be using these glocks in Alpha Bunker. I'm going to upgrade them and then will bring these glocks back to Alpha Bunker. You know what? We're going to open up all of the crates at once. Like green, uh, orange and red crates all at once. So I'm just going to take now enough tickets. So we're back here at Alpha Bunker but I won't do anything. I'll just go and activate like hard mode bunker just right now without even doing any floors guys. Because I don't have enough time to do the third floor. Let's activate hard mode bunker. Let's go to the third floor. Let's pop the blind one. And we're going to get enough red tickets to get a C4. And after I come back I'll open up all of these crates at once. So let's go baby to the third floor. I might maybe even do full third floor. I'm not really sure just to get enough hard mode items to get that floppy crate. And I just realized that at the end of the day, I need those floppy crates to get enough mil cores. Because without mil cores, I won't be able to do these 99 waves. And I think the next step that I should do is unlock that police chopper. Police biker or whatever people want to call him. Even though some people say that probably it's not worth it. But at the same time, I would say that, eh, let's unlock it. Because what else can we do with it? So here we go, guys. I'm at the blind one place. Let's actually heal up a little bit. Because my dude might get hungry during the fight. And I don't want that to happen. So here we go. We're going to kill the blind one. We're going to get the things just like that, baby. So here we go. We just killed the blind one. Let's take all of the things that we got from him. Plus, we got another bone. So that's very, very nice. Got to get rid of these two empty bottles to pick up my bone. And I might go here and maybe kill a couple of dudes as well. Because why not? And I just got, guys, the skill. Let's open that up. So we're gonna get either look around skill or hacker skill. Let's learn it, baby. Yes, at least we got the look around skill. Now we're gonna be able to check it out, how it works out. And one more skill left, baby. And I'll be done with the uh, bunker alpha. So I already have all the skills in mountain area and the forest area. And that's it, I guess. This is gonna be in bunker alpha. And also at the raids, all the skills. And so the only things that will be left for me is oak area and the winter area. And then I'll be done with all the skills there. So that's good. So here we go. We're going to be killing this frenzy giant just like that, baby. And uh, I think that we'll be almost done with the third floor. So got a chevron from that frenzy giant. Let's open up the box. We might get something. We'll just got used paints. <laughs> Not going to be wearing those used paints. Well, wish I had more guns to clear this area because I definitely, guys, need these guns to kill those frenzy giants. I might actually do some wall tricks because I have that machete. Because I feel like this is the most valuable area at all. Like, I mean, there's going to be one frenzy giant. Then there is second frenzy giant, third frenzy giant, fourth frenzy giant. Well, it's not long ago, so it's probably, guys, one of the best areas here. Let's go I'll try to kill this frenzy giant, guys, with a machete if I'll be able to do the wall trick. Here we go, guys. Machete actually is working out and doing 22 damage to him. That's very good. Here we go. We're just gonna kill Frenzy Giant just like that, baby. Here we go. He's dead, hopefully. Yes, indeed, guys. He dropped me that notebook. These notebooks are so, so valuable. I think each notebook is like maybe 2 or 5%. It's kind of a lot. Here we go, guys. Trying to wall trick another Frenzy Giant just like that, baby. We're gonna shred him once again. Ouch. I only have one healing item, guys. You know what? I'm gonna take another stack of 8 kits here from my inbox because I'm definitely gonna fail here. I'm not the wall trick master here. As I almost never do it. Here we go. This frenzy giant is dead as well. Let's take his another notebook. This is so thick. We already have, guys, 9 notebooks. So here we go, guys. Last but not least, frenzy giant. So I think I'm done with the third floor. There's nothing else that I want to do. I don't want to go and descend lower to get a couple of extra items. So I'm going to try to give all of that to the specialist. Actually, I'm going to kill this last frenzy giant. And then I will see, guys, the specialist. And maybe I'll even have enough points to get guys the floppy crate. So today we're going to maybe even get double C4. Because I'll open up all of those crates. Here we go. Let's loot this thing. Let's loot another box over here. But before, let's drink a little bit. Because my dude is going to die out of thirst. And I'm not some sort of a savage. I'm not going to let him die out of thirst. So let's go now. Let's open up, guys. A red crate. Let's open up 
orange crate. And let's open up green crate. Let's check it out what we got inside of all of these crates. This is like huge opening, baby. So what did they get? A Glock. Very nice. Uh, wheel. That's great as well. And double shotgun over there. We got a gas tank, guys. We got a gas tank plus a blueprint for my chopper and a C4 here, guys. So today we might actually do a triple C4 thingity thing. I'm really glad that we got a gas tank now. So I'll be able to give that to Jennifer as well. And maybe I'll be able to get like some repair kits or some other trash there. Well, whatever. Let's give him all the blueprints first of all. That's what we're going to do, though. Let's give these. And look at that, guys. These 11 thingies make our floppy hunting disk way easier. Whatever. Let's insert here the floppy disk. We're going to go, guys, to the floppy crate location. Hopefully, I'll get a Milkor over there. So right now, let's go quickly to this rest stop event. Once again, gonna get a couple of guns from them. I'll try to use my these two broken glugs. Hopefully that will be enough. And I took another one just in case. And after that, we will go open up, guys, this crate in the floppy crate location. And then we'll try to raid, baby. We're very, very excited about that. And hopefully we're gonna get a Milkor in that floppy crate. If I'm gonna get a Milkor, I'll be very, very excited. And two more Milkors, and we'll be able to do 99 waves on a live stream. So maybe this is the uh, event with zombies. So I'll try to go around and maybe, maybe these zombies will start attacking them at least if this is the event with zombies well here we go the dude just started attacking me first with no reason i didn't even do anything for him well here we go i was able to pop them and these zombies did not spawn so whatever maybe it wasn't the zombie event let's loot these dudes that did get a little bit of items let's try to loot their chopper maybe maybe we're gonna get a full durability weapon inside of the chopper well we got a glock so i mean glock is really really appreciated hopefully we're gonna get something here he has a fire pattern on his chopper this is thick. I'm not gonna pick up a helmet. I do have, guys, a lot of helmets at the base. I have maybe like 10 extra or 20 extra helmets just lying around. I need shoes, not helmets. And here I didn't get anything great anyway, so... Mm -hmm. So now I'll go back to the base. I'm gonna leave all of the loot there. And then we'll just go to the floppy crate location. So here, guys, I'm at floppy crate location. And also, let's try to look... Uh, use this look around skill how it's gonna work here we go it's charging up so i'm gonna wait probably you can't see that behind my camera let's go let's try to hide it as you can see guys there's that skill charging up so i'm gonna wait until it's gonna charge up and i'll try to use it because i've never used it and i have no really clue how it's gonna work maybe it's gonna help me to find the box or something and hopefully this is going to be a milk work crate. Right? here we go there's a doggo i'll definitely pick it up and this is guys the zoom skill that's it that's it. I mean, maybe I didn't have to move in. Does it work like for one second? And why can't I move when it's zoomed out? That's a little bit sad. Wish we could move when it's zoomed out. Well, here I did find, guys, our box. Let's try to loot it. And we're gonna see what we're gonna get inside of this box. Please, Milkor, baby. Please, Milkor. Most likely it's not gonna be Milkor. Well, we didn't get a Milkor, but we did get 2C4, so better than nothing. Plus, guys, another police bike blueprint. I mean, military bicycle. Probably it's just trash anyways, but whatever. Let's take all of these things, peeps. Not the best loot. Not the best loot. Not a Milkor, but... I mean... We did get 2C4, so we got 3C4s, guys, in this one episode. Isn't that amazing? The C4 hunt. Well, here we go. I'll try to open up. I'll try to use zoom skill once again. So, oh, you can use the zoom skill as long as you don't move, probably. Well, I think that's cool. So I'm back at the base, guys, and let's try to put all the loot back in the chest, and let's prepare for the raid just like that, baby. Just like that, baby, we prepared for the raid, so let's set on the chopper, and let's check it out what kind of a base we got over there. I mean, I already checked it on YouTube, and it's not like one of the best bases ever ever but it's definitely not one of the worst we might get there a couple of swat sets and the rest i have no idea what else we're gonna get there but still let's go stinking to the raid i literally went to raid stinking guys this is this is gonna piss me off so while we're going there to that raid i also want to talk here about the skills the point is guys in my opinion skills are a bit weird because it took me like what it's like i'm playing this game pretty much like regularly and i'm playing a lot of last on earth and i'm grinding a lot of bunker alpha and i only unlocked look around skill only now it's like how long are you supposed to grind this game until you get all of these skills it's like that's a little bit weird i don't know and it's plus it's a mobile game so i mean like eh, i feel like skills definitely should be revamped they should be changed because it's like there is way too much grind for these skills especially these special skills i don't know guys well at least that's just my opinion here we go we already have this level four wall so i mean it's not that good Whatever, let's look at his truck. Maybe he's gonna have something inside of his truck. Well, his truck was completely, guys, empty. 100% empty. And radio tower is empty as well. So, you know what? I'm just gonna place here one C4. I might not get here the best loot, but I do know that we might get here something good. So, let's just hope that we're gonna get here something good, baby. 
Well, at least I was able to go past this rock. That would be very sad if I couldn't. Well, he has like, what? Three, six, seven chests, guys. So let's try to open it up. And we'll see what we're going to get inside of these chests. Well, we got already one Glock. A full SWAT set. Mm-hmm. Wow, guys, this freaking silencer on M16 is so bad. M16 starts missing so much, and I feel like it's not even worth it. I'm not going to be probably putting a silencer in my M16, even if I get it. Well, let's take stack of batteries. I mean, so far, rate is pretty okay-ish. Okay, okay, okay. Let's steal the SWAT set, even though I totally guys don't care about that SWAT set. Like, the last thing I want to get is a SWAT set here, but eh. Whatever, let's go. Let's chop down another chest. And we go inside three steel plates. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Another Glock, baby. Hmm. I don't know why I keep saying that. Hmm. But for real, guys, this is not bad. This is not that bad of a raid. So far, at least. Another stack of batteries. Are you kidding me? I just saw that, peeps. And I still can die, actually, and come back here with eight extra slots. If this dude is gonna have, like, a bunch of wood or something, I'll definitely come back here with eight extra slots. Let's open that up. Well, we got another Glock. Wow, guys, I'm already gonna say that this rate isn't that bad. Some people, again, are gonna scream, Sonic, please pick up these 50 yellow tickets. Please, 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 please. Guys, I have, like, probably 500 yellow tickets at the base. Why do I need more yellow tickets? Good. Whatever, we're gonna chop down here another chest, and then I'll try to pick up the rest of the things. Uh, let's try to pop it, baby. And what we got... Uh, nothing really. Well, we can probably take another military set if I'm not mistaken. You know what? I'm gonna leave some stuff back at my chopper and I will might actually die here and come back with some more items because it's not like this dude is gonna have so many things. I mean, some people would be excited about the SWAT set, but guys, I don't really care about SWAT set that much. You know what? I'm gonna put here the SWAT set and I will take a military set and I'm, I'm most likely guys gonna die and then I will come back to this area and look at that. I'm, I'm gonna bring like two extra sets back to the base. And then I'll be able to fill up my chopper once again. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Hopefully this dude is gonna have spikes. If no, then I don't know how we're gonna die. Well, maybe I'll die with the next wave of zombies. So yeah, because for those who don't know, you can actually die and get eight extra slots from your chopper. So whatever, let's start chopping up more chests. That's what we're gonna do, baby. Let's jump it up. Maybe we're gonna get something good inside. Well, I did get this broken Winchester. So whatever, not that big of a deal. Let's try to chop down another chest. And inside of this chest, baby, we got like, wow, some... Oh, well, 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 well. This raid isn't really that bad. I mean, the just we got oak, it doesn't even matter. But we did get like, what... Another Glock or something? I don't really remember what we got. I mean, green tickets. Green tickets are something that I'd like to pick up instead of yellow tickets. Because I don't really have a lot of green tickets. Because most of all, I don't really do a lot of bunkers. Like, I don't really do, like, third and second floor in easy mode. And I do just more hard mode bunkers. And this way, I don't have enough green tickets. So I'll be probably stealing green tickets. That's for sure. So I should have chopped down another chest. And probably the zombie wave is gonna kill me. And then I'll respawn back somewhere. Here, we're gonna chop this chest down. And hopefully dudes have spawned or something. Well, that's just sad that this guy doesn't have any healing items. Not healing items, but he doesn't have any spikes. I just have to make a little bit more noise then. So let's try to chop down this thing. Do you think Wave of Zombies is gonna spawn? Spawn. I'm gonna probably let them kill me and then I'll be able to come back here. Hopefully. Well, that's it. I'm gonna be able to bring those two. Let's go. Gonna let them kill me. Here we go, guys. Just died. Let's revive. Let's go back to the base. Let's empty my chopper and let's come back here. I'm not sure if the base is still there. At least that's what it feels like, guys. Whatever. Let's go. Let's empty the chopper. I mean, it's not like I really need these SWAT sets and these military sets, but the point is they are free, so let's take it. When there is a chance, let's take it. This way, Raid is gonna be able to get a bit higher point. I'm still not sure how we're gonna raid it, though. So let's go back to the base and hopefully they won't kill me that easy peasy. I will try to maybe take, like, what, guys? Uh, four extra bandages just in case. I mean, it's not gonna be that hard to ditch them. Let's actually take ten bandages. You know what? It will be fine just to not die because I will need to pick up my armor and other things. Hopefully the base is still there. If it disappeared, guys, well, then I will know that you can't actually die from zombies. But I think I died once and it worked. You can't just die from the big one because if the big one punches you, then base disappears. Yes, indeed, guys. Base is still there. Very nice. So let's hop back and hopefully they won't kill me that quickly. Now I'll have to find my body and then I'll have to get out of here and finish these dudes off. Get out of your chopper. Here we go, baby. I'll have to go around now and just find my body and pick up everything. If I'll die, then I'll die, guys. But the point is, I don't want to die. I'm glad that I took like 10 extra bandages. Let's go. Did I pick up something good or not really? Wow, that's a lot of dudes, baby. How am I going to do this? I don't want to go inside of this. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm actually getting scared now. I might actually lose here a little bit. 
You know what? I'm gonna go here inside and hopefully... Well, I have a Glock, but god damn it, this is the wrong thing. I didn't pick up the right things, guys. Oh. Guys, I think I might actually fail here today. Oh, I do have a VSS. Whatever, screw it, guys. I'm gonna pick up a VSS because I did fail here a little bit. Well, let's hope that I won't actually die here from these dudes. I'm so glad that I took this... 10 bandages, guys. Wow, I actually survived. I didn't have to take a VSS from my inbox, but this was kind of interesting. Whatever. Oof, so I was barely able to survive all of that. After that, I'm gonna pick up that another bandage. Let's go. Let's leave all of the stuff back at the chopper. Was it worth it? I would say maybe, maybe, but at the same time, it was really, really interesting, and that's what I'm all about. Whatever. Let's leave all the guns here. Stacks of batteries. I just realized that I actually could have just changed the set, and that's it. I didn't even have to bring two sets over there. I could have saved four extra slots, but whatever, whatever happened, whatever happened, guys. Not the smartest person, but I'm gonna steal uh, one pair of shoes because I don't have enough shoes. I do have enough helmets, so I'm gonna be picking that up. Let's take these. Did I pick up green coupons? Yes, let's t pick up these green coupons. So here we go. This is the loot that I was able to steal, and that's what I'll be able to bring back to the base. I mean, I'm still bringing my five hatchets plus one extra iron hatchet. I did have to use a C4 on this base, and the loot here wasn't really that great. I did get like two stacks of batteries and like four guns. I mean, it's not that great, but at the same time, not that bad too. I was able to steal like two stacks, uh, two pairs of armor but i also could have put one and it's not something that i really need whatever guys i'm gonna rate this base 6.5 i can't rate it higher it's not really that great uh, we didn't really get here anything that amazing but 6.5 is kind of good so make sure to check out this cool visage horror let's play just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there or click here on the second card and you'll watch another last dinner survival epic raid and i'm uploading such videos on youtube every single day so make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos also guys drop that like button while we're at it and peace 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 out